Hey steadfast stead hackers! Today I'm going to be giving you a tour of our in-house greenhouse. Now this greenhouse is set up right in our little kitchen nook. It's a four and a half by two and a half foot space. And if you clicked on this video just to see what it looks like, I'll pan to that right now. One of the reasons I wanted an indoor greenhouse is so I could extend my growing season. That's the whole point of a greenhouse, and to keep the pests away. So I tried to grow strawberries last year. Massive failure because the birds ate every single one. So now I can grow them inside. If you don't have an awesome kitchen nook like we do, no problem. These racks come in a ton of different sizes. You just pick the space that you want, measure it out, and find a rack. It doesn't even need to be a greenhouse rack necessarily. Anything you could put a pot on you can grow something on. Just to show you some of the features of this greenhouse, we did install grow lights. We have these really small ones that tack up right under here, and then we have a big one right up top, and I will show you a picture of them turned on right now. We also installed a tray made out of thick painter's plastic, that way if I overwater or I want to mist, none of the water gets on my actual kitchen floor. Now in terms of maintenance on this thing, my thumb is anywhere between green and black, so lower maintenance is best for me. You water once a day, you lift the tarp up if it gets too hot, I have a little thermometer in there, and later this week we're going to be installing an indoor drip system, so it's one less thing for me to have to think about. So just to go through some of the plants that I chose, my whole goal with this indoor greenhouse system is low space, high yield plants. So I chose two dwarf blueberry plants, which I will show you a picture of. They're of the peach sorbet variety. They get about two feet by two feet. So they take a, a very small amount of space. I got those at Walmart, but a lot of your local nurseries have dwarf blueberry plants like Top Hat and Jelly Bean. So you can have a lot of fun with that. I also decided on strawberries. This one right here is called a pine berry, and it's a white strawberry that's supposed to taste like pineapple and strawberry, but who knows? We'll find out. Back here in these two trays, I have green onions and radishes. We eat a lot of those as a family. Low space, high yield. Right here, I have my little marvel peas. We'll see how little they get. They may need to be transplanted outdoors, but I thought, hey, why not? We eat a lot of peas. Over on this side is my selection of herbs. So I chose things that we eat a lot as a family. Cilantro and basil are staples in this house. And then I picked out some chamomile and peppermint just for the medicinal properties of it. Behind me are my little grape tomato plants. That one's just a funsy for me. I can grow them outside pretty easy. Uh, so I thought, why not bring them inside? And then down in the bottom rack, we have our starters. So those are things that we will eventually plant outside, but are good things to start inside so you can get a head start on the growing season. Make sure you subscribe to our channel because I'll be giving you updates on how successful my in-house greenhouse really is. Here's something coming from the kitchen. What's going on in here? Dance party. Dance party. Stay tag out.